Hi, uh, we are Image Trust. Uh, I'm Jennifer, and this is Kareem. And uh, so the problem that we are trying to solve is uh, um, it comes to software asset management and distribution and a secure way of doing that. And we are trying to use blo blockchain to uh, solve this problem. Uh, when it comes to software asset artifacts that a developer or a company produces, uh, one of the biggest um, hurdles that they have to go through is how to actually safely distribute the software to their uh, customers and also uh, get the right amount of uh, revenue uh, from these software um, packages that are delivered. And uh, current infrastructure is very centralized. You have to go through either like a consultancy uh, consultant or you have to go through a very specific... Uh, uh, delivery channel, and you have to pay a lot of money to do that. And this makes it uh, much slower uh, from when a developer has officially like released a software uh, to get it to the hands of the consumers or other companies in this case. And also, you need to have, if, if you don't want to go through a specific channels, you have to build your own infrastructure. Like, for example, Apple with their App Store, uh, they have to build that infrastructure and maintain that infrastructure uh, to allow uh, applications and softwares to be uh, distributed. And apart from that, uh, when there are a lot of open source softwares uh, that are floating around on the internet, and how do you make sure that these softwares are from the um, authentic source? That currently, there are some solutions that uh, provide uh, an answer to that, uh, but they, again, they are expensive and it's a slow process, and not very many uh, uh, developers or companies employ that um, because as a, as a developer, your main concern is to deliver a package. You don't really um, think a lot about security unless something bad happens uh, through your software. And the third problem uh, is that when it comes to licensing the software, there's a lot of uh, piracy uh, that happens. And also from when a developer or a company releases a software to when you actually get incentivized for that uh, package, uh, the, the time is uh, quite long and also uh, you are, uh, it leads to like over licensing issues and under licensing issues. And so in order to um, solve these problems, what we're proposing is uh, a solution where the blockchain already is, uh, has this decentralized network, which makes it very easy for you to publish anything to a network of users who are uh, on, on it and also are listening for events that are uh, posted on the blockchain. So you, any company is now, a, or any developer is now able to uh, publish a software code uh, safely uh, into an IPFS uh, system and uh, publish the hash of the, uh, of the package on the blockchain so that when you need to, as a user, when you need to do a verification process, all you need to go do is go and check the hash of that specific package. And this uh, provides uh, an immutable record of all the updates and all the packages that a company or a developer has produced and is, um, has made available uh, to the world. And uh, for the licensing problem, we propose uh, an ERC-721 token, which makes it easy to uh, um, procure these licenses as a token and also transfer these and also uh, have uh, revocation processes um, when uh, your the life of a token uh, comes to an end. And here is a workflow uh, from like a software uh, publisher perspective. Uh, you, uh, the developer or company uh, has their wallet. They are able to like come and publish the hash of the file or a package on the blockchain and they can choose to put the uh, package itself on IPFS system. And as an end user uh, slash buyer, uh, you are able to go look for these specific events. You can just peruse through the blockchain and look for very specific events and say, okay, this is a software package I want and here's an update for it. Uh, you can go and grab that yourself and uh, when you want to use, uh, use it and if, you, if it's not an open source free software and you have to pay for it, you can do so using your, uh, from your Ethereum wallet uh, straight away for your ERC721 token. And uh, when the uh, package comes to you, you are able to like verify it on your end as well. And even if you do not procure the package uh, through um, the uh, IPFS, you can still uh, get on the blockchain and verify it. So, 
if you want to come, you can you can go ahead and go through that. We have a worked example. <laughs>